Now I'm going to give the floor to Prof. KBC, one of the examiners, for his comments and observations. Have the floor. Thank you, Mr. Chairperson. I would like to express my gratitude to Professor Gomez Sanduko, the supervisor of this dissertation, for making me a member of this panel. Uh, he has been doing a lot of things. And this again is an opportunity for us to acknowledge whatever he has done so far. Thank you for training the young ones and dying for them. Thank you very much. Because not all human beings have this duty to the detriment of their own lives. May God bless you and keep you for long again. Uh, I would like to say thank you to the chairperson of this board, the Dean of the Faculty of Arts, Professor Komla Mesidewa. Thank you very much for the company. Thank you very much for your advice. And again, thank you for whatever you have been doing for the faculty. Uh, now, I turn to my to Professor Kamlo Ainamo, Christine Ainamo, for accepting all the time to be with us, for accepting to be one of the instructors to us and to the younger ones, for accepting to tell us the remaining that we need again, and telling to the young people what is awaiting them for the future or in the future. Thank you very much. Anytime I have this opportunity to be on your side, I know I have to take my pen and my notebook. And thank you again, because thanks to Professor Nupo and yourself, you have made the path for the young ones to follow without obstacles, or rather, with less obstacles on the way through this cooperation between University of Agumi Kalambi and our university here, I think it has been done. And there is evidence that universities in Africa can count on themselves, that they have a lot to offer, and they have to be proud of that. Thank you very much for this opportunity. I would like to say thank you to the candidate whose work is giving me an opportunity to speak here. And thank you again for whatever I have learned from your work. I know there is a lot to learn from the work. We have qualities as a researcher, and we also have shortcomings because of it, because it's a research work. And I'm going to speak considering the value that is the positive aspect of the work. And I will also mention some of the things that I think can be improved upon as my contribution to excellence. Thank you again. Because maybe you could just say, no, I don't need to be on my panel. But you have accepted that I be part of the panel. Remember, thank you for that. I would like also to say welcome to the assistants. They have come to support the sun the grandson, the child, the friend, ability, which is good. Uh, my comments are going to you know, be divided into two aspects, form and content, on one fold, and then value and probability shortcomings. Uh, I would like once again to say that this dissertation has value has great things to offer, especially when we are using literature, to say that literature is not just something abstract about life, but it is about, about our own lives, which again is something that negates the people's opinion that literature has nothing to offer, because it does not set things at 
table, like food, like I don't know what, etc., etc. But we still believe that literature, once it trains us, it shapes or molds our, our uh, mind, that again is a contribution which is key. Aesthetization of African social political crisis is a great topic. Uh, when we look at the way it is trained, and when we go through the work and realize that there are examples here and there in our place, it is a good, a great contribution in the sense that when you are using creative tests to prove whatever can be used from these creative tests to offer or to contribute to the quality of our lives, it is good. Now, I'm going to mix values and shortcomings. I would like to go to the topic. Aesthetization of African social political crisis. In fact, this topic is different from social political aesthetics of the continent. Because your topic is about aesthetization, that is, the different ways in which social political crises have been made fiction or fictional. And if aesthetization is a means, then there should be an end. What is the end? It simply means that creative arts, writers of the text, have used different strategies either for the purpose of rhetorics, for the purpose of great contribution to quality of life, society, culture, politics, etc. And this paper is the center of your topic, to my understanding. In fact, well, our father, the Pamela who has already said it, but I would just like to explain some of the things that you need to take into account for the future. Maybe you may not have time for this today, but you need to have time for it tomorrow. In fact, when you talk of aesthetization, well, and it was a great thinking to de design the topic this particular way. And I remember the instructions of Sakona Mason gave us during the Dwea program. Because many people were doing the recounting of the story in the context of criticism, he, has, he instructed us to have them understand that literature matters when we pay attention to the form before we get into content. That is, to establish the connection that exists between form and content. And it is on this ground, on this note, that we try to look at this aesthetization issue so that you may depart from form the content and content alone. So at this level, your, your corpus test, Peters of blood. In fact, in this within this particular context, without even reading the text, you have material to offer. For example, what is Peters of blood within the context of the law? What does Peters of blood stand for within the context of the law? Why has the writer decided to give this title to the novel to study? Then when you go through the novel, there are, you have a lot of elements that you can explain, saying that the writer has created this to stand for Peter's of blood because of the impact, because of the effect, because of the consequences on society, on people, etc. That one alone is enough. Now when you get into this, you have several elements, and you don't need to say anything, everything about the book, illustration, whatever you write will not exhaust possibilities there are to discuss the topic of a book. So you need to be specific and clear. Another type of book is Devil on the Cross. What is it that is devil? And why should that devil be on the cross? So these are the elements that you should be thinking. What is devil? Why should it be on the cross? What is cross? Why is it called cross at all? These are the elements that, in fact, 
impact a lot whatever you are saying or you have to say. Another novel is the last play. What is play? What, why, what makes it last? Last. Because of what? So these are the elements that can instruct your leadership. Once you explain them, the content goes for its own. And the big chicks, which means that there are chicks, and among the chicks, there are the big ones. Who are they, the big ones? Why are they called big and not chief, simply? Why are they called tall and not short? Or why are some people called the short, the short and not the tall? Because the novel offers this, the big chiefs. You have a lot of symbolism inside. Now, for you to discuss this, you are not just going to content. What you have to offer is the manner, the way, the strategies you for people to feel there is a chief, to feel there is a big one and not and the small one or the short one. So once you do this, and with you know, illustrations, I think it is over. So that is the reason why I think the topic of <coughs> socio-political aesthetics is different from aestheticization of African socio-political practice. One thing is, the socio-political crises are not the major concern of your topic, but they are representation, they are creation to reflect whatever we know is that which you should do. And you have also laid emphasis on characterization. What is characterization? You see, at this level, if you happen to be around, or when you come back after your business, you can have a course. When you go to the young one, they ask you what is characterization. You are not going to be bookish. What is it, characterization? In fact, characterization is what a character says about itself, what other character says about the character, about what the narrator says about the character, and what you as a reader, you think in the light of what has been said, taking the opinion, the sayings of other characters, including that of the narrator. This is what we call characterization. Now, if this is what we will refer to as characterization, then characterization is a myth. Within aestheticization, how, how are characters portrayed? How are they created? If they are created strong, if they are created weak, what has led to your belief that that character is created a stronger character? If it is a weak character, what is that way that led you, led you to the saying that the character is? This is what, in fact, the topic, I think, is mostly concerned with. One thing I would like also to say is, if you have characterization, what is the function of characterization? Where you think it is located? Well, in your acknowledgement, you said doctor, doctor, but you said Mr. Yobo. Yobo is the doctor. Maybe you needed to update that. You know, I have also to defend my candidate. Okay. Now, when you look at the table of content, you have characterization of some key. Characterization of some key. GPT. I think you need to do it in a different way. And there is also a, a mixture of American English and British English. Characterization here is Z, and you have also other spelling S, saying that, well, in fact, uh, you are using both. But that you, you both, is not enough proof that uh, 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 your writing should just be moving alternatively. Now, one aspect that I don't understand, I don't understand, is your literature review. One, three. Critical pronouncement by reviewer to 
you are selling the works of Nguwiwa Jungu and the other one. And here you, you find it necessary to talk of critical pronouncement of Nguwiwa Jungu and work against that. But within the text, you quote page 30. I will just mention the case for the rest when you take my copy. I don't know, this is my telecopy, I don't know what else it is saying. On page 43, page 34, 34, third paragraph. Well, I see you talking about Chino, Achebe, Stace, Walapa, Kamarala, the African Chai, Sambel, Usman, God's Beat of Wood, Peter, Peter Abraham's Telt, etc., etc. But I don't know. And I think I remember of Nuruko telling us all, because I was also following courses that we were supposed to take. That within the critical context, you have your corpus test. If you want to make allusion, the allusion should not be a case. You should point out into quoting from that book because your corpus test is there. So if you are using detained or whatever, this is a play exit. Why are you? Why do you feel interested in creating works? I mean, yeah, why do you have criticism? And you have quoted, you have named books that you are studying. So I think it is not a good thing at all. Another thing we see, you have a man of the people here, the beautiful ones are not here, born, etc., etc., which in fact means that some of your reading, uh, your reading is not first hand. The major part of your reading is not first hand. That is, you have read criticism and you have collected pieces of information from critical works to season your understanding. Instead of having the test from first hand, so that you make great comments, because there are some comments you are just accept. You accept them because you don't know they are missing their point from a certain perspective. Well, Mr. Chairperson, well, there are some aspects that I really admire. Page 42, third paragraph, last sentence. Kumbungui is a petty Abdullah this way for the reader to note that, to note and appreciate the sacrifice freedom fighters have done during, during the liberation struggle and see how the hopes of the independent African nations have been betrayed. You see, your explanation of a strategy and the impact or the function of it is the central aspect of your topic. And this is what I feel here. Though you needed more. So it simply means that you have this understanding, but it is not a steady. You do not have a steady understanding of how we should do things. Now, another aspect which I don't like is on page 44. You say, second paragraph, fifth line, you have society at that. Society, you have one just character is a symbol used for the common experience experiences that women go through through such gender inequality. Well, there is a problem with language there. But what is important today is you say one just character is a symbol. What makes the character symbolic? In fact, there are between a great writing and the one that is not, it is a matter of details. It is a matter of words. You need a simplicity here. When you have character, which reflects, shows a short shortcoming, stands as a symbol, and then the rest continues. You see, I've had that only two or three words. But I will tell you it is a different. And that one, I think our father did it. So that's all dependent on how from him. Now, characters that you have here, I would like this is a general point of black 
anything that you write in a dissertation or in a research work has to do something with the topic. Anything that you have to write in a research work has something to do with the topic. Now, is it in connection with aesthetization? Is it in a connection of whatever, whatever? Now, you have to prove it. It is like you are given the topic, and because the topic is too big to explain in simple way or simpler ways, you decide to divide it into parts, parts into chapters, chapters into sessions, sessions into subsessions. And the whole thing is done. So a research work is an organic whole. So it is extremely important to do this. Now when you discuss AIDS, etc. etc., we know we have general knowledge. But what you should be proving is how this aid can be discussed within the uh, within the context of your corpus then. So that anyone leading you will have a different understanding from whatever he or she knows from the world. Instead of simply focusing on society or what goes on. Because we know the things that go around. But how is it discussed? How it is depicted is what is different from one another, one other to another. And I, am, I was saying that I, at times, I feel like you are making your comment from second hand. You say, well, page 97, we watch the last paragraph, second sentence. To make it possible, Ngubi, for example, which means that your concern is not Ngubi and the other, other writers work, but the world, and you are simply using Ngubi as an illustration, which in fact should be the, 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 the other way around. Within the context, what it is, your test, what it is, and how does it relate to life, reality, or possibility of being true, or coming true. Well, I think I am, I am being too long, right? Okay, I will just... No, you just go on, because it's very important for him. Now, there are some questions I'm going to put to you, because it is good, and because there are future defenders, it is good for you to experience how you did it for the advantage, for the benefit of others. Now, uh, your quotations. You have long and short quotations. How did you manage them within the context? That is, you have long quotation. With the permission of the, uh, the chairperson, I would like you to have a kind of dialogue so that people can take it from. What is the difference in the management of quotation? You have, I know you have long quotations and short quotations. If you were to go in a, a hall somewhere there to tell the young woman the difference between the long quotation and the short quotation in, time, when, in the process of writing, writing what do you do? A short quotation are inserted in the text. Yeah, inserted in the text. Uh, yes, and long quotations are inserted in the text. Okay, it is good because we need to rely on you, you know, on some, you know, for doing some of the tasks, academic tasks. Because once you finish writing your dissertation, once you defend your dissertation, you are already qualified to read the paper where you can point out these shortcomings. Which again means that once you, after your dissertation, you write an article for publication, if you allow these things to be in your test, then you are not being of help to those who are reading you. You understand what I'm saying? And we have also APA style and MLA style. What is the difference between modern language association style and then American Psychological Association style. In terms of three techniques, summary, or summarizing, paraphrasing, 
and coating the batting. What is the difference? These are the things we need to know because it is part of what we need to know in life. ADA, that is American Psychological Association style, MLA, Modern Language Association style. What is the difference when we consider summarizing, paraphrasing, and quoting the battle? Feel free to say, well, you will think about it. If you don't, you are not prepared. I will think about it. Okay, thank you very much. Well, in fact, the thing is, in your summer, in your
Even though among them I am the layman, because I'm not, uh, my, special, uh, my specialty is not uh, literature, but I still have something to say. I would like to thank uh, uh, Professor Inamo, who has always been with us. And as the dean of the faculty, I would say that on behalf of the whole faculty, I thank him very much for what he's been doing for us for such a long time. He's always there whenever we need him. And I'd like to thank our younger one here, Prof. Pelisi, for his comments. And I think that you've taken all these comments into account because what he said is very, very important, you know. Okay. You particularly, I would like to thank you because uh, after reading this work, even though I'm not uh, within the specialty of literature, I learned a lot from your work. And the work is well written and very, very clear and easy to read. The language is good. When I come back to your presentation, as all of them said, you have to be very careful. Because writing is one thing, reading is another, and more importantly, speaking, proficiency is another case. So in your presentation, uh, you missed many uh, phonology, when I take phonology as a linguist, there are many plural words, the S. You do not pronounce the S's at all. So that's very, very important. And that is what we call interference from French. You have to be very careful with that. Also, I will say that, uh, I think Prof. Louis said it, or one of them, it's very important, and even it's a mistake, if you mix up the two varieties of English, the US English and the UK. This one is, as a doctor to be, I would say it's a real mistake if you do so. So you have to be very careful with that. So when at the final copy, you have to make sure that you use one or the other. Is that okay? Okay. Uh, I find, I don't know whether it is uh, what literature does, but when I, uh, the abstract, the keywords, I read around the, you know, 12 or 13 keywords, which I think is too, that's too much. I don't know whether that is how you, why you do it. Because generally, I think five keywords, I think there, am I right? So I was wondering whether that is uh, what they took out of, but uh, I think there are too many. You should reduce them. When they say keywords, they should really be the keywords, not everything there. Okay. Uh, I think that, let's go to the copy itself. I have some very few things to say. First, when you go to acknowledgments, or even a dedication, you wrote generally the Roman numbers are not capitalized. You understand? You say I, 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 but it's not it's the I like this, not high case. You understand? Higher case is not the case. You have to, it's a small. One. Is that okay? Do you get what I mean by that? Yes. Okay, very good. So you have to change that all over uh, until chapter, until uh, arriving page one. Is that okay? Okay. Let's go to page eight. You were talking about literature review, and then suddenly on page eight, Second paragraph, third line, in between there, I say, through this literary review, is it literature review or literary review? Okay, because many students talk about literary review. No, we say literature review, okay? And uh, the last sentence on that second paragraph, read it and see, there's something missing. Second paragraph on page 8. 
Last sentence. Read it. Here, you don't see the studies this. Last sentence, paragraph. Yeah. Here, the study scrutinizes social political problems. Are you sure? I am on page eight. Yes. Second paragraph. Okay. This Last sentence of second paragraph. Okay, this part also elaborates on characterization in Ngugi. Ngugi is... Is that the last sentence? Here, Ngugi and Mwangi use characters as aesthetic devices in the depiction of socio-political realities. Okay, I see. You see it there? Yeah? Yes. Okay. So... The verb is missing there. What what is missing? What do you see? Uh, the whole through the whole. Uh huh. The assign to 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 what? To each of them. Is it? You say no. It's one of them. It's one. It should be each one of them. Now, the third paragraph, that one is syntax. That's the, the, the syntax you use here is completely French syntax. You have to use what is the English syntax generally? In English syntax that is structured. Good English sentence should be what? S V O O order. If you respect that. Your sentence will be very good one. So, the first sentence on page 8, third paragraph, is the French style. You have to change it to English. Now, I think uh, Prof. Ayinamon said something about this. When you put part 1, for me, when you put all this blank page 9, page 9, it's completely blank, and you put it as a, a page number, it shouldn't be you get what I mean? Part one, literature review, nothing else, and then you have you you put it as page nine. So you are going to say I have 100 pages, counting this empty one. You understand? So you have to. Your advisor was telling me that normally it shouldn't be numbered. You accept that? Um, yes. Why? <laughs> because it's blank. Okay. Let's go to page. Yes, I think. Uh, conclusion. Two two zero. Page two twenty. I think generally, you should know that English does not like long sentences. You know that, right? Yes. And uh, the conclusion, you have a very long sentence. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seventh line. The dissertation critically investigates blah, blah, blah. And the sentence is so long. Can you see that? Yes. It's too long. English sentence, you have to uh, cut it down. You have to make it into different pieces. English does not like long sentences as we do in French. Is that okay? Yes. Okay. The last paragraph there, the first chapter, etc., you see, have demonstrated the Marxist. Can you see it? One, two, third, fourth line. You see, all this I have demonstrated that Marxist criticism, uh, that word demonstrate. It's too strong here. You have to say show. Eh? I have shown it's better than. And then over there, there's an SBC on draw. Okay. If you go to page 221, the next page, third paragraph. Yes, third paragraph. In the third chapter, have you seen that? In the third chapter, yes. Uh, yes. The line, the sentence that follows. In this chapter, that whole sentence, uh, 
you have to use still SPO, meaning that into art. So you have to say, for example, in this chapter, the study has found out that Google has transformed. You don't say into art. Has transformed, you put the art, you say, has transformed the African social political experience into art. You get it? Yes. Huh? It's very important, SPO. So the object is should be at the end. Now, page 222, I think it's the last one. Page 222. I think this is a typo, eh? You see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Line nine. Can you see line nine? Yes. In addition, you see what you wrote there? Yes. Okay, it's good. It's a typo, I know. Uh, I think that's the last one. For the bibliography, I don't know how you do it, but it seems in literature you have to put things, uh, critical studies, uh, corpus, and all that. I don't know about that. I cannot say anything. But in my specialty, we don't do it. You just put everything together. Is that okay? So you have to see that. But if that is the case, now, so I was thinking that your presentation got me, you know, like, I'm not sure whether I was right. For me, I was thinking that you could operate strongly, even you strongly operate with uh, Google and Wagi. Am I right? Or you don't collaborate with them? Because you said, uh, I advocate for, I quote you, advocate for, I am quoting now, a true democracy, good political leadership, and stronger institutions that must promote good governance, blah, blah, blah. Am I right? Yes. You said it? Yes. Making me ask if you were collaborating with these people, and then suddenly in your presentation, you said that uh, this was something, the both of them or something like that was, we don't say utopia, we say utopic. <laughs> eh? you, you, you think that it was utopic. So I was then puzzled. What's your stand, really, on this? You use the word utopic. It's utopic, not utopian. And then I was thinking you were collaborating with them. I want you to explain clearly what's your stand on these two uh, writers. That's my question. Question one, that's question one. Question two, how are you planning you yourself to contribute to good governments in total and by extension in Africa? Because you were talking about all these things. Talking is not the case. What are you going to do completely yourself? You get it? Two questions? Yes. Okay, good. I think that these are my questions and uh, I'm expecting you to answer them. Uh, for the first question, uh, I can say that I'm not uh, collaborating with... You don't collaborate with them? Yeah, I collaborate with them. Yes. But I'm just reading what they propose as solutions. Why do you say it is utopic? Or you, have, you use the word utopic. What do you mean by that? Yes, uh, I don't know a kind of revolution they are, other violent or peaceful revolution. But when we talk about revolution, uh, I don't know that. It seems to me it is not uh, possible in our countries. And that's why I'm saying that uh, it's in a topic. What is a topic? That's what I don't understand. Uh, what is? 
What is utopic here? What do you mean? What is utopic? Uh, what I mean here is that uh, it will not come to, it seems it will not come to. What? A revolution, for instance, uh, the organization of a revolution in uh, our countries. When we look about the instrumentalization of uh, army forces, uh, uh, I'm not sure that a revolution is possible. Thus, I say that it seems utopic. What I mean is that uh, is Gugi and are they proposing some kind of revolution? Uh, they, they are proposing in Africa a violent uh, revolution in Africa. Africa. Yes, through our the novels, yeah, uh, the characters organize revolution and the writers uh, give them victory at the end. Okay, you think so? That one is utopic. Yes, revolution is yes. Go on. Uh, it is what I'm saying that something is clear that uh, throughout history, it is through revolution that people put into their autocratic uh, systems. Yeah. But I don't know whether that is the word topic is the word you should use. Probably another word. Now, what do you think your contribution then? My contribution uh, I'm planning to do something, but I'm not yet ready to... One concrete thing. <laughs> Don't be utopic. <laughs> I'm planning that when we need to be ready, I will let uh, you know. <laughs> My plan. I don't want to reveal my plan <laughs> right now. Aha! Uh -huh. yes. Because you are keeping the copy right there. Eh? Okay. okay. Any other comment from the members of the jury? Any comment? Okay, you want to say that? Yeah, but related to Ngubi Wachongo, I think he has. That we have two steps. Ngubi Wachongo is suggesting dialogue. And he says, when yes, don't listen, then you go for violence. So when you simply say he's advocating this, it is a gradual movement. The first thing is negotiation, talk. And when it fails, because people don't listen, then you use physical violence. Before I forget, uh, if not if you're working in part, you must justify this division by providing text between part and uh, what follows chapter. Okay, why there is no justification? And you say part one, part two, part three, there is no test between part and uh, the chapter that follows. I think absolutely necessary for you to do that. And for the final copies, uh, provide a test to introduce uh, chapters you have included in this uh, part. Thank you, but I will take it into consideration. Okay, good. I think uh, we are now going to the small room and we'll come back to give the results. So you should be brave. Monsieur Minervi Kosivi Apelete, à l'issue de la soutenance de votre thèse, Dr. Unique. Entity, a state estilization of African social political crisis, a study of novels by Ngugi Wajingo and Meja Wangi, and after an avoir deliberé, the jury vous a jugé digne du grade de Dr. S. Lettre, option littérature de l'Afrique anglophone, et a décidé de vous décerner la mention très honorable
Aujourd'hui, c'est un sentiment de joie qui m'anime à, à, à la fin de cette soutenance. Et si je dois parler de mon parcours, j'ai eu le bac euh, au lycée de Tablego en 2006 et je me suis inscrit à l'université de Lomé. Après ça, j'ai eu ma licence trois ans après et j'ai fait une maîtrise euh, en anglais, option littérature africaine. Et tout juste après ça, j'ai obtenu mon master dans la même université. J'ai commencé par enseigner ici quelques mois, à l'université de Lomé bien sûr, quelques mois après. Et en 2000, deux ans après, en 2016, je suis allé à l'université Paris-Sorbonne pour faire un master de, en traduction et en interprétation, spécialement à l'ESIT, École supérieure d'interprète et de traducteur de Paris 3 Sorbonne Nouvelle. Et à un moment, j'essayais de, de travailler sur ma thèse et ce qui a porté fruit aujourd'hui. Et c'est ce que nous avons célébré aujourd'hui. Un mois à l'endroit du public, je les remercie de m'avoir accompagné jusqu'à la fin. Je remercie tout le monde pour leur collaboration, spécialement mes amis qui ont contribué à cet événement. Merci.